Hi yogis, welcome back to Beyond Body with Abigail. In today's session, we will be focusing on the main chakra called Anahata. This chakra is located near the heart region. So this chakra is also linked to love. It's linked to how we perceive love and how we accept love. An imbalance in this chakra can occur in ways where we feel and fear rejection. We are afraid to connect. We have commitment issues sometimes. And sometimes we don't see the beauty in nature, in events, in people around us. Now, when we balance the chakra, we actually do the opposite. We want to feel connected to the beauty around us. We want to feel connected to the world around us. We want to be brave, to take that leap of faith for love or for passion. So I invite you to get comfortable, get ready, and I'll see you in a minute. So I hope you're comfortable on your mat. We'll be starting in easy seated pose. Crossing your shins and just bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes and begin to take deep inhales through your nose and exhale. Connecting to your body, to your breath, to your mind, and to your heart. Noticing the weight of your body on the mat, on the earth. Feeling the skin around your body. Relaxing the shoulders and closing the eyes, softening the muscles in the face, around the mouth. And wherever you are holding tension, whether it's mentally, emotionally, or physically, I want you to surrender that tension and let it melt into the mat. Take this moment to breathe, filling the belly with oxygen, making your breaths slightly longer than natural. And as we begin, I want you to slowly open your eyes. Keep your gaze down, chin slightly tilted down towards the heart. Bring your hands up to the sky, clasp your fingers, press your palms up. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. Open your arms up, reach your fingers high. Now press your thumbs back and lift your fingers, open your heart. Lifting your chest up high. Now swing your arms back to behind you and lift your heart higher, lift your chin higher. Inhale, exhale, swing your arms forward, lean back over your sitting bones. So you're doming your spine, feeling the stretch along your shoulders. Inhale, lift and open the heart, look up. Exhale, arms forward, hands on your knees, lean back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, lift the heart high. Exhale, lean back. One more. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lean back. 
Coming to neutral, lift the arms up to the sky. Reach for the sky or the ceiling, wherever you're at today. Drop your left hand down and lean over, looking up towards the sky. Now take your arm over towards the right. The left hand reaches towards the right. Now turn your left, your right body up to the sky. Open your heart. Press the floor down as you return. Drop the right hand down, reach up with that left and lean over to the right. Again, open your heart up to the sky. Press the floor down and come up. Let's do one more on each side. Reaching and lifting the heart. Feeling this movement into the shoulder blades, into the armpits, into the side body, and definitely into the front body. Press the floor down and flow to the other side. Rolling that left ribs up to the sky, right ribs forward. And return back to center. Bring your hands towards your heart and bow your forehead to touch. Let's meet in tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under the hips. We're going to do a few cat and cow. So inhale, lift, lift the heart high. Exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, lift the heart high. Exhale, tuck. Let's slow this movement down a little bit. Inhale, lift the heart, look up, exhale, chin down, inhale, lift, exhale, tuck, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, tuck. Two more, inhale, lift, press the earth down, exhale, press the palms and lift the shoulders high. One more, inhale, lift. Now on your exhale, toes together, open your knees, press back, child's pose, with your hands reaching forward and forehead down to the floor. Taking a couple of breaths here, walking your fingertips forward and lengthening your hips back towards your heels. Coming all the way up to all fours again. Now from here, I want you to step the right foot to the side, okay? We're going to open the right body, so your left hand stays under the shoulder. You're going to open your right body, right hand reaches up to the sky and open the heart, stretching the arm back towards the back wall, reaching up high, opening the chest, opening the heart. Now we're going to thread the needle, place that right hand in the gap. So you're going to place the shoulder down, place the side of your head down on the floor and walk the left hand towards the front edge of the mat. Pressing the fingertips into the ground and relaxing that right shoulder down into the floor while reaching and pressing into the right hand. Try not to let your hips sway right or left. Try to keep them level to the earth. Walk the left hand towards the nose and press up. Open the heart again. Reach that right arm up and back. And come back to tabletop. We're going to do one cat and cow. Inhale, lift. 
exhale. Coming back to center. This time, step the left foot out to the side of the mat. Right hand stays, left hand lifts up. Follow those fingertips up to the sky and then lean back, open the heart, open that left hand. Press the right hand into the floor, opening the heart, twisting in the waist. And exhale, thread the needle, the hand goes in the gap. Shoulder down and walk the right hand towards the front of the mat. Relaxing that left shoulder towards the floor. Pressing the right hand down, pressing the left shoulder down. Walk the right hand back towards the nose. Press into the hand, lift that left arm up, open the heart, and return back to tabletop. Inhale, lift to cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to center. Now from here, we're going to step that right foot back, sorry, left foot back, right hand forward. Now lift the heart, lift the tailbone high. Exhale, round the spine. Lift the heart, lift the tailbone high. So it's like a cat and cow, but you can almost think of a tiger pose. One more lift. And bring the knee back down, hand back towards the center. Step the right foot back. Extend the left fingertips forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cow. Inhale, lift. And exhale, cow. Come back to center. Now, keep your knees where they are. Just walk your hands forward. We're going to come into Anahatasana, puppy pose. Walking your fingertips forward, keeping your hips above your knees, and lower your chest down to the mat, placing your chin on the mat, looking forward. Softening the breath. If this is too much, you're welcome to place your forehead down, but really sink your chest towards the ground. If your forehead is on the mat, join us with your chin. Now bend the elbows, let your body go all the way down to the floor, and we're going to go into a baby cobra, just lifting the heart, looking up. Press the hands into the floor, push back into your downward facing dog. Walking out your dog here, right and left. Now walk your fingertips back towards your toes, just halfway so that your down dog is slightly smaller. Press your heels into the floor. Now take your right hand and grab your left ankle, pull your heart towards your toes and then twist, look in the gap. Pressing your heels into the floor. and come back to center. Switch, left hand goes towards the right foot. Pull your heart forward and then twist to look under the gap. Release. And now walk your hands back towards your toes. Grab a hold of your elbows and just let your head hang heavy towards the earth. If 
you need to soften your knees if your hamstrings are tight. You can rock your body side to side. Now release your hands and we're going to slowly stack the spine for four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way up. Now we're going to release the heart. Stick the hips back as you open your heart. Open your chin. Lift your chin high and roll down. So I want you to have the image of a caterpillar or a wave rolling up one vertebra at a time. Coming all the way up and release. Open the chest, open the heart. We'll do a couple of these in your own time. Rolling up. Release the heart as you roll down. Inhale up. And release down. Once you've made it towards the bottom, grab a hold of the elbows again. Maybe try to stretch the back of your legs. Now, take your arms to the back, clasp your hands, open your feet slightly wider, almost towards the edge of the mat. Press your palms together. Now, open your chest, open your shoulders, look forward, and then press into your heels as you lean forward. Opening the shoulders. Release the hands. Bend the knees. Walk your hands forward into a plank position. Pressing the hands into the floor, pressing the heels into the floor. Now drop your left knee, turn your left foot out so it goes to the outside of the mat, off the mat, and drop that right heel down. Step the left hand under the shoulders and open your right hand up to the sky. Lift your heart high, let that right hand fall back as you open your heart, lean back, now bring that right arm through the gap, twist. Try to reach for your back heel and press up again. Lift the heart high. Stay here. Pressing the hips forward, opening the heart. And come back to center, looking down. Now shift your weight towards your fingertips and lift that right leg high. Bend the knee as you grab the foot from the outside. Now press your hips forward, open your heart. You can look down to find your balance here or look up. Open your heart. Squeeze your hips forward and release. Hands down. Come into tabletop position. Let's do one inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Inhale cow. And exhale cat. All right, come to the center. Now, we're going to turn the right heel out and drop the left heel down as you open your heart to the other side. Follow your fingertips up and open your heart. Let that left hand lie back. Squeeze your hips forward. Release. Fingertips go through the gap as you reach for your back heel. Pull the heart back up. Open the heart. Squeezing the hips forward. You can look down to find your balance or look up and press your hips forward and come back to center. Now, shift your weight towards your fingertips and lift the left leg up. 
bend the knee and grab the foot from the outside. Now press into the hand and pull with the foot. So pull the foot and press into the hand. Looking up or looking down, opening the heart and pressing your hips forward. One more breath here. And release. Come back into tabletop. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, press the hips high. Press the palms into the floor. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale. Once more. Inhale, lift the heart high. Now keep the heart lifted high. Tuck the toes under. Press back. Downward facing dog. Very good. Moving your hips side to side. Walking your hands forward, let's come into a high plank. Lowering the belly slowly down onto the floor, rolling the shoulders back, lifting the heart high again. Now lift your heart high and pull your chest forward, looking up and lower back down one more just like so press the hands into the floor elbows in lift the heart and pull your chest forward and release now from here we're going to take our hands out to the side aeroplane the fingertips away from the body now take your hands towards the center of your back and you're going to open your hands towards the front keep your chest lifted Open as if you're swimming, lift your heart, maybe go higher, and swing them back to the front. Once more, open the chest, look up this time, grab the hands from the back, press the palms in towards each other, lift your heart high, locust pose. One inhale here. One exhale, release. Drop the forehead on your forearms and wiggle the body side to side. Take a deep breath here. And let's meet in Sphinx pose with your elbows under your shoulders, hands pressing into the floor. Lift your heart high. Now bending the right leg bending the left leg. Press the hands into the floor. Pull your heart forward. Now, step your left hand forward and swing your right hand to catch your foot. Place your palms into the floor. Open your heart. Press into that right foot. Look up. Opening that right shoulder. And release. Swap your hands to the other side. Press into the left foot, pull the heart. Maybe even aid yourself into that right hand to lift your heart high. We're preparing for bow pose. And release. Bring your forehead down onto your forearms. Taking a moment here to recover. And let's do bow pose. So bring your feet up towards your butt. Right hand grabs the right foot, left hand grabs the left foot. Now press your hands, your, your feet into your hands, lift your heart, maybe lift your knees, point or flex your feet as you pull yourself higher. Press your hands, press your feet into your hands, pull your hands into your feet, lift your heart. Maybe go higher. One more cycle of breath and release drop your forehead down and recover we're going to do one more round so bringing your for your head up to the sky 
bend your right leg, bend your left leg. Grab a hold of your feet from the outside. Now start by pressing your feet into your hands till you feel your shoulder blades and your shoulder, your pectoral muscles opening up. Press more as you lift your chin up high, lift your knees, press your heart up, 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 inhale here. And release. Press back, child's pose. Feel the weight in the upper spine, into the lower back, into the armpits. Let's do one round of vinyasa. So press your toes into the floor, press your heels into the floor, coming into downward facing dog. Looking forward, step your feet towards your fingertips. Inhale, halfway lift. Lift your heart to the front, exhale, forward fold. Rolling through the spine, all the way up to standing. Lift the arms, clasp your fingertips, back bent. Release as you dive forward. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, step back, plank. Lower through Chaturanga belly on the floor. Press the palms into the floor, upward facing dog. Lift the heart. Press back, down dog. Now from here, lower your knees to the floor. Making two fists, bringing the fists in the middle of your knees. Now start by placing your hands on your hips. We're just going to circle in any direction you wish to loosen up the hips and reverse. Now swing the arms up high, lift your heart high and swing that right hand. You can tuck the toes under if you wish to grab the right heel. You can look down as you press into that heel and lift the left hand high. And when you're ready, you can swing the left hand, grab the heel, keep your chin forward as you press your hips forward. And when you are ready, you can lift your chin high and look back. This is Ustrasana Camel Pose. Opening the heart to the sky. Place your hands on your lower spine. Slowly reverse and come in to child's pose. Just releasing the forehead down, keeping the knees, toes onto the floor. We will do one more round and we will add a little variation for this one. So coming up to all fours again, tuck the toes under, place your hands on your hips and come onto your knees. Again, circle the hips one way and the other way. Swing your hands up, inhale, exhale, circle that right arm back to touch the heel. Lift the left arm high and swing the left hand back. Now you can stay either with your chin tucked, pressing your hips forward. You can join me by lifting your heart, lifting your chin. If you wish, you can lower your toes, lift and maybe look back to find the floor. Lifting the heart high, lifting the hips higher. Pressing into the hips and release, slowly release down towards the mat. Fingertips walk forward. This time bring your toes together, open your knees wide into child's pose. Now we've worked into the bow pose. We worked into locust and we worked into camel pose. And we're going to slow the class down from here. 
walk your hands back towards your knees. Bring your knees together. Bring your heels together. And bring your hands to heart center. Softening the muscles in the face, in the forehead, around the eyes, around the mouth down the chin, the neck, the shoulders, the hut, the belly, the knees. As you swing your hips around, bring your feet in front of you. Sitting nice and tall, lift your heart high, arms up to the sky. And we're going to go into a twist. So twist towards the right, just a gentle twist. Look back, find the back wall. Take that right hand up and over, grab a hold of your feet and pull your heart towards your knees. Roll through the spine and come up. Twist towards the left. Swing that left arm up and over. Grab a hold of your toes, lean forward nose towards your knees and come up now scoot your hips forward we're going to open your knees grab a hold of your toes stretch your heart forward and just bow your chin towards your toes as you sit back up and bring your knees towards each other, so knees together, scoot your hips forward and slowly roll through the spine. So we've done a couple of deep back pain, so we're just going to massage the lower spine, rolling the hips, rolling the knees one direction and the other. Press your feet into the floor. Feet as wide as the hips, palms down, roll your shoulders back. We're going to do another little heart opening. Press your heels into the floor, press your toes in the floor, rolling through the spine, lift your hips towards the sky. Press your shoulders into the earth and rolling back down. One more. Lift the hips high. And rolling back down. Now we're going to add one more with a variation of the arms going up and back. And up and down. One more up and back. And down. Grab your knees into your heart. Give yourself a little hug. Bring your chin towards your chest. and release placing your hands on the floor send your right leg down now we're going to do a little twist so your left knee will fall over towards the right and you will look towards the left fingertips let that knee hang heavy you can place the hand to add a little bit of weight onto the knee just feeling that twist in the waist in the shoulders in the upper back and the lower back. And return to center. Swap your legs. Pull the left knee, the knee towards the left. Maybe put the left hand on the knee. Looking over to the opposite side. And come back to center. Stepping your feet down towards the edge of the mat as we prepare for Shavasana. Bring your hands to the center of your heart. Now this is where I would like to invite you to either mentally 
or verbally join in with the mantras. The first mantra I want you to either repeat after me using your voice or just listening to my voice. is I am loved. I forgive myself. I allow others to come close. I am brave. I live my life with a sense of grace and gratitude for the beauty around me in nature and the beauty that exists in myself and those around me. I am open to new adventures. I am open to new loving experiences. I will let myself feel happy again. As you release your hands down onto the floor, we will end here today, Shavasana. I will leave you in this meditative and relaxing, resting position. And you're welcome to stay here as long as you wish. Thank you for practicing with me today. Thank you for opening your hearts. Thank you for sharing your love. Namaste.